Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a whip and chat. I know it's Manic Monday. Calm down. It's okay. Take a deep breath. There's no Manic Monday this week. Um, I need to tell you what's been going on, why I've been absent, and um, we're just going to get this whip and chat done. And plus I got the shout outs. The shoutouts that I promised you guys of everybody's shoutouts and everybody's going to be entered. And something just fell, which is very bizarre. Things just randomly happen in this room when everybody's here. Ah. So anyways, <laughs> today I'm working on my whip. Um, it is um, rounding up the dust bunnies by... Randall Spangler. Um, it's a diamond art club. I'm cl clearly to the dragon's face. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? And we're going to do this and we're going to talk and we're going to chat and whatever you guys are working on. Let's get to it. This is round two because I had to change the clip on my <laughs> tripod because yeah, it kind of like doesn't hold my phone for some reason. This new tripod so I had to switch it with the old one so hopefully it holds my new phone it doesn't look like it's holding very well on the top but it is gripped on the bottom so it should be okay we shouldn't have another mishap fall like we did earlier so I will do the shout outs in a little bit but first I gotta tell you what's happened to me and why everything's messed up and why last week I did not get anything done so let's get together let's craft and let's talk Okay, so I know I said on my bullet journal that I was going to give all these things that I was going to do, but what happened was on Sunday night, I got very, very ill. I was getting sick. I was throwing up and um, I called in sick to work. And then on Tuesday, I still didn't feel 100%. Didn't want to go into the cold at work and dread another day being sick. So I called in and then they called me and told me because I have um, symptoms of COVID because I was throwing up and I was nauseous and stuff that I had to go for a COVID test before returning to work. So... I, I went on the website to book an appointment for the COVID test and the only available appointment I had was for Thursday. Then it said that the results would be back within one to three days. So on the Friday, I thought, you know, I'd be able to stay home and wait for the results and start my whip and chat and I got everything ready, got my coffee made and I was going to do my whip and chat. And then my work, I checked the computer and my results came back negative. Then my work called and silly me told them, oh yeah, it came back negative. Then she's like, oh, well, you can come into work right now. So yeah, <laughs> I did not get it filmed because I had to go to work and then I worked all weekend long and I closed the lid again. Darn, dang it. No, I didn't. It's right here. <laughs> I didn't close it didn't close it guys but I know your eyes perked up when I said I closed the lid didn't it I know it did anyway so we got to figure out which one we're going to do next um I miss one of these on the black so I'm gonna just put it quickly in its spot so that was Oh, I wasn't done that one. Look at all those right there. Darn it, Liz. Back again to the hashtag. So that was my week in a nutshell. I do not have COVID. I did test negative, so nobody has to worry. 
Um, I wasn't quite worried about it. I still had my sense of taste and smell. I didn't think I had COVID, but you have to get it done or else they don't let you back to work when they tell you you have to go. So I applied for the Canadian um, Sick Benefit Relief Fund because I missed those days of work. And yeah, hopefully I get some money from the government because I feel like I should. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that's what happened to me last week. So Wednesday I didn't do my live because um, of being sick. And then I still did my unboxing. And then I was going to do the weapon chat for the Friday, but like I said, work called, said I had to go in. So I dropped everything and I went to work. And then, you know me, when I work the weekend shift, I don't do nothing when I come home from work. I don't even diamond paint because I come home so exhausted from that place. It's ridiculous. Then I had a horrible Sunday. So glad it's over and I have the next two days off. Tomorrow will be my live. Um, Tyler's coming over later to help me put together a gift that I received from a special friend and I will show you guys this gift once um, it's built. It needs to be built and then I'll show you what I got. I got two presents actually. I felt like so spoiled and it's not even my birthday so I'll tell you who gave me the present and uh, you guys can see it when it's completely put together I'm not saying anymore I'm not saying anymore until it happens hopefully it'll be all put together by my life but I don't know. I don't know for sure. So yeah, that's just something that you guys can spin around in your head like a hamster wheel to figure out what I'm talking about. <laughs> and yeah, so that happened this weekend. And uh, did not expect it. Did not know it was coming until like the day before. And yeah, I feel very, very special. You know, when someone makes you feel special, that's what I feel like. This person made me feel very, very special. So enough of that said. Um, I know this person's probably gonna watch my video. That's why I am talking about it. But other than that, let's get on to the next topic. Should we go into the shout outs? This is gonna take me a while to edit because there was a lot of entries and I'm super, super excited to show you guys. So let's get into the shout outs right now. And I'm back. So I got seven whips entered into my Facebook page. For anybody that is new to my channel, if you um, go down to the bottom in the links, there is a link to my Facebook page you can go into my Facebook page. We talk, you can post pretty much anything you want in there. Um, and I do um, shout outs every Wednesday, every, I put it up on Mondays for the Friday. And if you uh, post in it, um, the, you vote. But this week was a little bit different. I said I would put everybody in the draw. So this week is totally different than the other weeks. And then at the end of June, for the first half of the year, I'm going to do a draw for a $50 gift card to um, whatever diamond painting store I desire to pick. And that's what's going to happen there. Um, so the first entry is from Elisa. I'm not gonna give last names because I don't want to. 
So Lisa gave me this beautiful picture of this bunny rabbit and she didn't give me any details of where it's from, but I do know it is from Star War. Um, cause I seen it there cause I almost bought it. <laughs> so that's how I know where it is from. And it's turning out very, very, very cute. Second is Susan, Susan Zed. She is doing a witchy lady. She's a very pretty witchy lady. I love it how her eyes are two different colors and then she's got a cat in her hair. Susan's always doing some cats, isn't she? She does a lot of cats. Or is it just me? Or is it just because she bugs me about a cat all the time? But guess what? I got a darn cat now and I'll talk about her later. And then Lena, Lena has a beautiful uh, floral uh, floral picture and she says it's a three panel piece. And I don't know if that's the middle part of the three panel piece, but it's very, very pretty with the blue colors. I really, really like it. And that is from Lena, known as Lena's Crafting Room, I'm pretty sure on YouTube. Um, the next is Valerie, and she's doing something that, oh gosh, it looks so good. I could almost eat it on <laughs> Sunday. And I'm like, ooh, looking at a Sunday, like, mm, I could really, I could really have a piece of Sunday right now. Even though it's very early in the morning, I just might have a bowl of ice cream after this. Look at what you've done, Valerie. <laughs> you supported my diabetes. Not so well. <laughs> um, it doesn't say who it's from. Um, I'm probably thinking it's probably from, it looks like it had clear plastic, so maybe one of these shop any deals or if, oh, you know all those stores, I don't know, or maybe she got it off Valley Express. I don't know, because she didn't say where she got it from. Next is Terry, and Terry is doing a lovely peacock. Plus she's watching a very old movie in the background. It looks very, very colorful and big. Looks like a very big piece, but she's got a lot done already. See what happens when you don't do more than one project at a time? Yeah, you get things done, not like Lizzie. Oh, and she says it's a 50 by 95, seller unknown. She doesn't remember the seller. Um, the last but not least, is Deborah. So Deborah did, um, it's a Diamond Art Club. I can tell right away because I remember seeing this picture, Diamond Art Club, and I'm thinking, oh, it's really cute, but I'm not American, so it probably wouldn't appeal to me to buy, but it is very stunning. Um, sorry to hear that you've been under the weather. Lizzie, thank you for the shout out. Get better soon. My whip this week is a uh, Diamond Art Club Patriotic Tricycle. It's 64 centimeters by 58. I didn't expect it to be that big, but wow, it looks really, really good. Like you can see the detail in the tricycle and the American flags, like you can see the detail. It's very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful piece indeed. So um, them are my whips. Um, shout outs of the week. I'm not going to do a comment of the week because I am putting so many people in the jar that I will save last week's and this week's comments and put them all together because there wasn't very many because you know I'm sick and then I will decide from there. So here's my jar. Let's cover this up so I don't stick paper on here because you know this would do something silly like that. What did I say? There's seven entries. I just got a whole big bunch of... And then I'm just going to write their last name so that I know when I pull it out of the barrel, I know who actually did it. So there's one. And... There's two. And 
in the jar you go. And there's three. No, that was three. What am I talking about, Liz? Uh, there is three. There is four. I think I got two papers on here by accident. I did so. There is four. And then there is... Five. I lost count, guys. <laughs> Leave it to Liz to lose count, right? I did lose count because they're supposed to... Well, maybe because someone commented on some. Oh, uh, there's only six because someone commented on something. So that's why I'm thinking seven. There's only six. So I'm not losing my marbles yet. I think they shoved that Q-tip up my nose too far. <laughs> Cleaned out my brain. Ah, so there is all the whips for the week. Six entries, good luck. You're in the jar. If you haven't been in the jar yet, you are now. So there you go, guys. I might do some pop-up random things like this. All the time, you just gotta keep on posting and you just might like out. And that is the shoutouts of the week. And I'm back. I have to stop it because I don't wanna edit. I don't wanna edit the whole video. My daughter's being super loud out there. She's louder than Luna. She's louder than Luna and she put the gate by the kitchen now. So now all you hear is that darn gate. Oh, here comes Luna. She's mad because her mom went in the kitchen without her. Because in the kitchen, that's where the stairs are to the basement. So that's why the gate is in front of the kitchen. <sighs> yeah. So what else happened this week? Oh, the cat. The cat lately has been bugging me first thing in the morning when I get up for work and she did it to me again this morning bugging for food so I've been feeding her every morning yeah Susan laugh it up she's quite growing on me a little bit her name's Izzy like not close enough to Lizzie like what the heck my daughter picks the weirdest names I tell you. So I fed her this morning and they were both, her and Sadie were out of water. So I uh, put water in their dish. I didn't fill up the jug. Sarah can do that today. I'll bug her to go do that. But I did fill up the bottom half of the water thing because their jug is so much bigger than Gigi and Lola's jug was. Sadie's a way bigger dog. Gigi and Lola are doing just fine. They're with Tyler. Um, he is enjoying having them. Um, it brings Tyler joy and I just couldn't, I could not see him unhappy. And if this brings him a little bit of joy and hope, then why not? I do miss my dogs a lot. Maybe I'll bring them home this weekend for a little visit and they can run outside with Sadie for a while and have fun with Sadie. I do miss them a lot, but I know they're in good hands with Tyler, so it's, it doesn't really worry me any because I know that Tyler will take good care of them. But they, st they, I went to see them the other day and they're jumping and happy to see me. So they haven't forgotten me. I don't think Gigi would ever forget. Forget me. I miss Gigi the most. Out of them all. I'm not going to lie. 
kind of miss Lola too. But yeah. They're in good hands with Tyler. So I know they'll be okay. Oh. Now she's outside. This woman, all she does is make noise. All she does is make noise. She's talking to my niece. Oh my gosh, they came over yesterday. You know, when uh, Doug Ford said uh, stay at home order, it means stay at home. I was so mad when I got home from work and they're over here. Like, um, don't you know it's a stay-at-home order? Nobody's abiding by it this time. I think everybody's just given up. Of course, I'm abiding by it, but the younger generation is not, and they're the and they're the ones that are spreading it. Wildfire. But anyways, her daughter was here, Chloe, and oh my gosh, this child is like a handful, and um. Let's just say Aunt Liz cannot deal with her after a 12 hour shift. She was bouncing off the walls, jumping. She was jumping on my bed and I'm like, Chloe, stop. And she kept on coming into my room and I'm coming in my room to hide from her. And she kept on following me. Yeah, it was like a zoo. And then they finally left and I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. So then I went to have a bath and then I just like, sat here, talked to my friends, and uh, well, I only talked to one person regularly. And uh, went to sleep, woke up, had my morning coffee with my friend again, <laughs> and then uh, had to go pick up Tyler from work and then asked him if he, she is being super loud. And I'm back. I'm sorry about that interruption. My kids were, not my kids, just Sarah was being super loud and then Luna got loud and everybody got loud and it's just a zoo here now. Liz lives in a zoo. We call it the Lizzie, the Lizzie Zoo. <coughs> That's what I feel like. I just choked on something and now it's stuck in my throat just lovely just lovely so i don't remember what i was talking about when i really got interrupted um not sure where i was going <clears throat> to tell you the honest truth then i probably gonna start repeating myself so this week looks pretty good um there will be some kind of like unboxing. Um, I do have um, one thing that I bought off of, I bought a pen. So there is that unboxing that I have not shown yet. Um, I have that one <clears throat> that does not go there, Liz. And I don't, I do have an unboxing that I can do of a uh, canvas that I got. I can do that one. Yeah, so I might do both. Like, I'm probably going to do both, to be honest. To be honest, I'm probably going to do both. I will have shoutouts again. After I post this video, I'll put the shoutouts for the next Friday. And I promise you, it will be out on Friday. Not sure if it'll be early. It might be around the same time as this one goes up. But it is what it is. Um, I could have filmed this last night, but I was just too tired from work. I had a really long, exhausting day and I had a bath and just chillaxed. Um, I did get quite a bit of diamond painting done. And I don't understand how I did it because I, uh, wasn't feeling well, but on Tuesday evening, I started to feel a lot better and I got a lot done on Tuesday. 
I didn't do anything Wednesday. Um, I did a little bit on Thursday, but not much. So I guess I didn't do that that much, but I feel like I did. I feel like I got accomplished on some stuff. Or maybe because it's, I'm getting close to the end <laughs> of um, some of my projects. That's why I'm feeling accomplished. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, so hopefully I have some finishes and I can start some new ones. That would be cool. And don't forget, the Lizzie Along is coming up very, very quickly. It is already April. Wow, it's already April. And the weather has been super crazy hot here. But I think this week is supposed to cool down a bit. So, yeah. That's what I got to look forward to. Canadian spring weather. Um, so, June 1st starts the Lizzie along. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be... Uh, special guest appearances it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of fun i can't wait I'm super excited about it it's going to be a very very good event i feel it i feel it in my bones i feel it in my bones so i'm gonna change colors i'm i'm doing really good guys about keeping my lids open I, I truly, I truly, truly am. I only messed up once on this painting so far. I wanted to do the squiggly line. Where's the squiggly line? Here it is. Oh, when it's talking out there, talking up a storm. <clears throat> I want to buy another Spangler. I really like these dragons. You do not even understand how much I love him. He's so darn cute. He's going on my wall behind me. If you look at my community tab, you'll see my wall. It's very, 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 very nice. I have some plans for that wall. You will find out shortly what my plans are. <sighs> and I might even... Um, I have a, th a uh, giveaway involved in my plans. So there you go. Another thing to look forward to. There's a lot of things to look forward to. So make sure you stick around and enjoy the ride. Because life is all about having fun, crafting and doing what you enjoy to do. And I enjoy, I enjoy my crafting. I enjoy talking to you guys on YouTube. <clears throat> And life right now couldn't be any better <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned. I know I have my ups and downs. Someone said I sounded depressed in my last video. Eh, I probably was because, you know, maybe it was starting to get under the weather and I just didn't know it. We was talking out there. She is quite the little... The little munchkin, <laughs> she came in here. She likes to play with my door. If the door is open, she'll come over and she'll open and close it, open and close. Like she doesn't close it all the way, but she moves it back and forth, back and forth. And then she comes in and then she climbs on my computer chair. And I'm like, Luna, you're gonna fall. But she knows she's smart enough to turn around and wiggle her way down. That is definitely not it. Uh... <laughs> That's not it. Where the heck is it? No. I think as long as I've been doing this painting, you'd think I'd have these things memorized. <clears throat> but I do not. That is the right way. I'm upside down. So that's not it. Oh, it's this one. This one right here. I don't tell you, man. When I do Diamond Art Club, I feel like I'm running out all the time. I'm surprised I don't get colors mixed up. So I have like multiple colors in my tray at one time. It's just 
crazy. I have a movie on pause right now on the Life channel. I forget what it's called. Something newly newlyweds, newly wed to death or something like that or to die or I don't know what it says. Something around those terms. Okay. I have a feeling the husband, this guy always plays like the villain. So I have a feeling he's the bad one out of the movie. Um, yeah, you know me and my TV movie shows. Oh, I'm really hooked on. So I used to love V.C. Andrews as a child. Well, not as a child, but as a teenager, I would wait till the book would come out and I'd go rush and go save up all my pennies and go buy it. And I've read all the V.C. Andrews series, but the one that I remember so vividly because it was the last series I read was Ruby. And they have the Ruby movies on right now on the Life channel. So this morning, before I started this video, I caught up on the last one because I forgot to watch it last night. Totally forgot it was on. So I caught up on it this morning. It's the second book. And then next Sunday is the third book. The thing I like about when you have TV on demand, you can just um, go back a few hours and watch the movie that already played. And you know, they always repeat themselves. <clears throat> so I watched it this morning. And yeah, I'm really, really liking it so far. Now, do I remember all of the book? No, I don't remember all of the book. But this just makes me want to read them all over again. See if the movies are anything like the book, because I can't remember. Like I said, I read it when I was a teenager. So that was a lot of years ago. <sighs> a lot, a lot of years ago. I'm old. I'm an old kook. No, I'm not. I'm not that old. But some days my body feels very, very, very old. It does, it does, it does. <laughs> this dragon is so cute. So cute. I love him. Oh, the yawning is starting. And I had a, I slept. But I didn't sleep very well, though. I kept on waking up every hour or so. I think I was scared my alarm clock wasn't going to go off for me to go pick up Tyler from work. I don't know if that was it or what. And, yeah. You know me. And then I'm always up at the crack of dawn. Crazy like that. Just crazy like that. But it's the days that I stay up way too late. I think it was Tuesday night. I stayed up way too long talking to my friends. And when I do that, my next day is right off. I don't get anything flipping accomplished. Because when I try to go to sleep, everybody in this house wakes up. And then I don't get sleep. Yeah. One of them days. So I can't do it very long on Friday this week because I have the Builders Club on Saturday. Super excited about it. Super excited to start my, my project. My project. See how I'm running out of color? I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna run out. Let's pray that I don't. Let's pray that I don't run out. This is a very dark hunter green. Can't have not a green dragon. Dragon's gotta be green. So cute. I wonder what made him think of 
making such a cute little dragon. I tell you, I really love this picture. <clears throat> and I do want more. I want more. I want them all in my life. Slowly but surely they will come. Build it and they will come, they say. They do say that, don't they? Yeah, so I think when I get off of here, I'm going to edit this video because I got to put in all those pictures. And, uh, watch the rest of this movie and see if it's any good but i don't really have much more to say this week kind of lost my train of thought with luna squawking i tell you sometimes i wonder how the heck I had three children because I really don't have patience. I have patience for Luna, but other kids, not so much. But you know, when you get older, you're supposed to be free, free care from children and you're only supposed to visit them and love them. They're not supposed to move in with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I always tell my friend, oh, they're not living with me. Yeah. Didn't that change? And a heart flash. It did, it did, it so. I'm hoping eventually they get sick of living with me and they'll leave. But I don't see that in my future. At all at this point. <laughs> Uh, I know I, I say this, and I know that I'll probably be lonely after all my children grow up and move out, but I tell you, I really like the quietness of being alone. Not all the time, because I know I'd get lonely and bored, but I don't know. I just like it. Some downtime, you know? I do enjoy it. And my silence. I do enjoy my silence. That for sure. And no kids crying in my ears. Oh, Luna's getting in trouble for something. She don't care. She's talking up a storm in her baby talk. Her jibber jabber. Yeah. But grandmother's work is never done. I tell you. Oh, I booked some time off. So the week of the 28th and 29th, I have that whole entire week off. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so lovely. It's gonna be so lovely, guys. I can't wait, I can't wait. I wish it was this week, but it is not. It is the 28th and 29th. Super looking forward to it. I feel like doing it again in May. I like I made two for a weekend. That would be cool. If I do say so myself. Myself. I do say so myself. Oh, Luna's getting loud. So maybe it's my cue to skedaddle. To skedaddle along. So remember. I don't think I'm going to do an update video. Facebook page. Join the Facebook page. Don't forget to post when I put up the shoutouts for Friday. You could be entered into the draw for June. June is coming up, guys. It's getting close to the first half of the draw. Second. Um. 
Don't forget, there's a Lizzie along with the Lizzie along. If you use my code Lizzie15 for 15% off, links are all down in the description below. You will be entered. This is till April 20th. You will be entered in for another gift card of $50 to Treasure Studio Arts. So if you buy any painting from Treasure Studio Arts and you have that TS code, you can be entered into, that's when you order, you get a TS, TS code, um, ordering code. Um, need that for verification of proof that you ordered. And you could be entered into a draw. Now I do have a form for that. I don't know. I'll try to link it down below. If not, there will be a certain day that I will tell you to link it down before the draw. Um, because that's coming up very, very soon. What else? What else do I have to say? Um, tomorrow there's a live. Don't forget to come and visit me tomorrow in my live. Every other week I go on different days. I go Mondays. I mean, I, Mondays. What am I talking about? I go Tuesdays one week and Wednesday the other week. I alternate back and forth because of my work schedule. Um, what else, what else, what else? What else can I say, guys? Yeah, I think that's it. You'll have some unboxings. You'll have another Whip and Chat on Friday. You have the live on Tuesday. I'm probably not going to do a bullet journal this week because I do it on Manic Monday. Next week, Manic Monday will be back and I'll show you all the progress of the three canvases that I've been working on because by then, I'll have a lot more work done and you never know, there might be a completion. <laughs> and now that's high hopes. Now I'm really being high hopes on that, <laughs> on that note. But with that said, um, I want everybody to take care of themselves. And uh, right now, Ontario is in lockdown because COVID is super bad again. So everybody stay safe. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. Do all that fun jazz. And a year or two now, when we look back on this video, people in the future will be like, what the heck is this woman talking about? No, I don't have to look that far back. But anyways, with that said, take care, everyone. Till next time. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye.